The Quran do not even know what the Christian believe. The Quran believe that the Trinity is the is Mary and Jesus and Allah. Okay, are there Hindus a polytheist or not? My friend, is that true? That that the Christians believe that Mary and Allah and Jesus is the Trinity. Quran never defines Trinity uh, as you are saying it's uh, Mary, Jesus, and uh, God is Trinity. Quran never say that. Read the verse. I'm here. Bust me. Okay, here we go. Yeah, read the verse. Well, call Allah ya Isa. Ibn Maryam, Anta Qulta in Nath, is Nas at Tahiduni wa Ummi Ilahain, Mindunila, chapter 5, verse 116. Take me, me, Jesus, this is yeah. one. Yeah. And then take Mary, yeah. this is second. And then beside Allah, this is the third. Yeah. <laughs> so that's three. <laughs> no, hang on a minute. Every, when, when, God, when God says some people are three, believing in three gods or four, four gods, my this friend, my friend, this you said to me, not... you said to me, where in the Quran it says, and get me busted, right? You are the one who said that to me. It says yeah, in the front yeah, of you, it says in the front of you that he is saying to Jesus, Did you say to worship me and my mother beside me? Which means we have a three to worship now. So Allah, yes. Allah is a question what here is a question the Trinity, and you got busted, my friend. So you are denying that there are people ever never uh, worship Mary. My friend, I never heard of any, but even if there is. Your God is speaking about the Christians. All of them, they worship Mary, and your God never mentioned uh, any other Trinity except this uh, one. No, 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 no. No. First of all, you didn't. You didn't say it's all of the Christians. No, it says. Is, it says. It says. No, it says. Jesus. It says. It says. It says. Let me get you busted again. You see, here we are here to get the Abdul busted. I'm. I'm. I'm very happy that you are a speaker corner because look like uh, all of you are well, the same. Yeah, I'm listen, 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 listen. Yeah. When when you when your God he speak about the Christian what he called them? Uh, uh, Nasara. Nasara. What the Nasara believe? Uh, you trying to put me in your box? I'm asking you what the what 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 the Nasara believe according to the Quran. Nasaras, Nasaras have many different beliefs. They're not one single. No, my, so th that's mean there's a mistake in the Quran because the, the Quran says the Nasara believe. The Nasara believe when when every there is many group of Nasara then you cannot call them Nasara. Then we should call them maybe Jehovah's Witnesses. Maybe we should call them Mormon. As long as long you call Catholic, them Nasara, my friend, my friend, all uh, all of those, all of those. You see, this is your problem in your religion. If your God, He know, He's aware of what's happening. He should not call all by by one name because they are not Nasara anymore. Because if somebody is Jehovah's Witnesses, he's not Nasara. If somebody is a Mormon, he's not Nasara. Where, who is the Nasara true. according to your prophet? The Nasara according to your prophet. Is one exists religion, all of them are the same, and Yahud. So he called the religion two names, Yahud and Nasara. If if there the, if there is one more, then name it. Obviously, those are not Nasara. Either the Nasara is the either Nasara is us who believe in Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, or Nasara is the one who believe in Mary and Jesus and Allah. You have to admit. No, 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 it's not saying that. So where is, where is the ones, what is the name, uh, why your God is not naming those who believe in Mary, as you said, you said there is a certain sect, and you are the one who said Nasara is the Catholic, okay, no problem, Nasara is the Protestant, no problem, Orthodox are Nasara, no problem, okay, who are they, the sect, which is believe in Mary, and Jesus, and Allah as God? CP, I don't, even, I don't know you too well, so I don't want to make judgment, are you a just man? You, you believe in justice. I'm listening, my friend. Uh, go ahead. I, I hope you believe in justice. My friend, so go, ahead, go ahead. In justice, do you believe in justice? Yourself. Do you believe in justice? Well, I, oh, oh, yeah, but I'm not going to tell a lie. So, yes, I do. No, I you do, don't. Actually, no, yeah. you don't. Your justice, prophet, he said, your prophet, justice. he said, if a Muslim kill a Muslim, he will be killed. If he kill non-Muslim, he paid the half of the blood. What justice, justice is that? Is I'm going to quote you a verse in the Quran, mm. and then you can bring the Hadith, and we see, we analyze. Yeah, we, we can go. Over. Let us finish this one first. Now, go ahead. Who are the Nasara? Who are the Nasara? Which the the the, the Quran is speaking about? Uh, well, look. First of all, this verse I'm reading again, mm -hmm. and it doesn't mm -hmm. mention the word Nasara. Do you know that? The word you go. My friend, was... my friend, aren't you the one who say that we go to the interpretation? Uh, why you always rely? Do you think interpretation is infallible? My friend, my friend. Okay, hold on. Do the chapter five mention the Nasara? Yes or no? What if this word word says, mm. "O oh, you Nasara, do you worship Jesus, Mary, and Allah?" Then I <coughs> have a point. It doesn't say that. 
He says, my Allah friend, will ask my, <coughs> my, Jesus. My friend, my friend, my Allah friend. Allah will ask Jesus. My friend, my, my friend, you, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a different thing altogether. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. When you understand the verse, you as a Muslim, you say you are a speaker corner. How you understand the verse? Uh, how I understand the verse? Uh -huh. Like, what is your guidance? You telling me every single verse I have to go to interpretation. So what do you do? What do you do? You do not need interpretation. You are you are the Prophet Muhammad, and you know everything. Okay, I'll tell you what. When mm. I read this verse, chapter mm. five, verse uh, mm. eight, O you who believe, mm. stand out firmly for Allah mm. as witnesses to fair dealing, mm. and let not your hatred of others to mm. you make you swerve to to wrong and depart from justice. Do I need a commentary from some scholar what it means? You need to. You need. Why do I need that? Okay, let me do let, me, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Can we read the verse verse before and verse afters in the same chapter we are reading from that they took his mother Jesus uh, Allah is asking Jesus did you yeah. take did you take did you tell your people to worship you and your mother that's right okay at chapter al maida is speaking about the nasara is that correct all of it all of it this why it's called this why it's called you see when we speak about al maida there's nothing in the quran is speaking only about one topic because your prophet he have a flight of thought so sometimes he speak about tomato sometimes he talk about about zucchini but right. nowhere in the right. quran nowhere in the quran mention any other name of any other belief except the nasara do you agree about the christians if there's other name for those you call them christians nasara for me but they are not, they are not christians nasara are not christians well, Nasara is from Nazarene, from Nazareth. Jesus Here we go. Nazareth. See, this is why I say they are not Christians. Those are people who they are. They 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 are like Jehovah's Witnesses. They are cult. And Muhammad he thought that those are the Christians. Those are the Nasara. This is the only Nasara he knew. This is why he thought that those are the Nasara who believe in Mary and believe in Jesus and believe in Allah. And that make him believe that this is the Trinity of who who, who called them Nasara as a Christians. But the fact Nasara does not exist. Yeah, but that's not the point. You know, this is the point. point. This is the point. Why your God did not mention? Okay, let us say, let us say, for the sake of argument, as long your God, He mentioned that there is a group of people they worship Mary. Are they the minority or the majority? Group of people who mention Mary. Uh, listen, you put in the words in, uh, again in the Quran. What do you mean? You know, Allah is not saying that there are people worshiping. Listen to this. Word yes, it says clear. that. It says Listen that. It says that. It says that. It says that. It says. No, no, no. He, he said. Know, but, but, he but said to Jesus, to uh, "Did you? Are you the one who said to them, worship your mother?" Correct. Did you say to people, Allah is questioning yes. okay. Jesus? No, no problem. So Allah he's saying, Jesus. your Did God you claim, your God claim that those who they are Nasara, they worship Mary. You say you still you adding things into this is the problem. You just my friend. Then it. who are the Nasara? Explain to me who are the one. What is the name of the religion? They worship Mary as God. Look at the, well. You, we know the Catholics worship Mary. They that's false. Mary. That's false. That's a big fat lie. That's a big they fat lie. Mary. Okay, here they we go. A challenge between me and you. A challenge between me and you to show right. me one Catholic in the world worship Mary and consider her as God. Right. No, no, no. What is what, what is worship? My friend, don't what? lie. Don't lie. So it says worship. Worship is to take it as God. Do you see the Quran? Read, read with me. Read with me. The Quran says, "Take my mother as God." Do you see it? Okay. Do you okay. I'm, I'm, I'm read again. Beside Allah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, take my mother for God. Beside Allah. Okay. See what? What is okay? What is God? In Islam, what what people do to God? My they friend, don't tell me what is God. Have, don't don't go. I mean, what, what a game you are playing. God they is God. Them. God is God. So the Quran claim that there's in Christianity, in Christianity, those who they are Nasara, they worship three gods. One, his name is Isa. One, his name is Mary, and one, his name is Allah. Okay, I will prove it to you from the Quran. Okay, mm -hmm. that the Allah, the all the, the pagans used to believe in gods. Whoever they worship, that is their gods. So worship means when you are asking somebody help. So what does that you mean? Ask, my friend asking somebody help that's that's worship my friend you are the one so who we, said you are the one who said that if you ask somebody for help is act of worship when i was saying that you just cut me right in the middle no you were when talking about mary you were talking about so mary asked, so I if somebody you, you are the one who said that if somebody asks someone for help he is he is okay. asking well, someone for help he is doing an act of oh. worship if you don't do that, help me. And if I ask my daughter to help me to get me a cup of tea, that means I'm worshiping him. Come on, don't play with words. Help. You know what I mean? Help. What help? What when does you, that mean? Okay, tell me what help. Tell me what help. Help is about what? It's about salvation. It's about going to heaven. When you, 
when you are this is about somebody. my friend this is about religion this is not about help to make zucchini this is about religion so help here is about you being saved from torture in the, this, this, we're talking about judgment day when i look for if, if i if i'm here mm. like, sitting in my sitting room mm. and i'm asking oh muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam help me and uh, and do this for me and do this for me that will be a worship and that's what exactly allah is talking about the people does to mary and jesus and people are still doing my Mary. friend interpretation so please interpretation if you are a truthful show me the interpretation of what you just said catholics do what's god do what's day? god okay you are the one who said that if the if the if, if the catholic they ask mary for help that will make her god correct if they know in the eyes of god that's a worship so that is no problem god. that's a worship so if you ask muhammad if you ask muhammad to pray for you that is an act of worship no muslim asks muhammad Hassan to help he's dead when in his lifetime people ask him to help and you can ask a good person in a lifetime to help or pray, pray to god anybody saintly human being you can say look can you pray to god for me you are a good human being you can in a lifetime but when that person died i cannot ask that person do you know there's a hadith of um umar he uh, when the rain wasn't coming he went to the uncle of muhammad sallam, abbas and he said in the lifetime of the muhammad sallam, we used to go to him for ask for rain to pray for us now he's there so we asking you if if you ask muhammad help yep. when he is dead that is an act of worship absolutely all right it's sure all right well absolutely. here we go the quran in front of us can you can you give me interpretation of chapter 9 verse number 80 why why interpret oh okay my interpretation yeah, okay my personal interpretation yeah all right fair enough uh chapter 9 verse 80 okay it says it is all the same whether or not you ask for their forgiveness even if you were to ask forgiveness for them 70 times Allah shall not forgive them that is because they disbelieved in Allah and his messenger and Allah does not bestow his guidance on such evil doing so he's, he's telling Muhammad Sallallahu don't ask for uh, uh, for certain people it's a context for the context he uh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi was asking for somebody's forgiveness so he said don't ask for their forgiveness mm -hmm. uh, even if you ask 70 times I'm not going to forgive them so okay. that is my interpretation you tell me if i'm wrong here okay so if you ask for their forgiveness 70 times they will not be forgiven yeah okay so, you know 70 times okay hold on hold on hold on okay hold on hold on hold on hold on so how many, those women so how those women they will be taken out of hell mm -hmm. if they will not be forgiven uh, that was not the question this is the, the question, question we are we have the same topic we have the same topic we have we have the same topic women they are going to, they are in hell already what is going to make them which women are you talking about here the 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 women who have nice vagina and nice nice uh etc yeah 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 they will yeah. go to they, you say if you, you you just read for me a verse saying if you ask for forgiveness or not they will not be forgiven yeah okay right. so how those yeah. women they will get out of heaven of out of hell oh, to go to heaven God. you are really dragging me into your box aren't you okay Dra <laughs> dragging me what you are dragging me into your box you 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 want to confine me in your box and i'm not going to be confined in your box i'll tell you uh can what, what, what do you mean I don't, I don't understand i understand what do you mean you were just taking me in the, in the corner you would just want to take me in the corner and then you just that's how you do it you know okay I mean? let me let me ask you let me ask you when you yeah. say to me, when you give me your own personal interpretation and you don't want me to give you any other interpretation because you are scared. And you are the no, one no, who I'm said not. to me, and you are the one who said to me that if you ask for forgiveness or not, still they will not be forgiven. I read the verse. I didn't say that to you. I read the verse. Okay, so are you saying this verse is not consistent with other verses? I've never said that. Okay. Can I read the verse before? No, you are the one because you are trying to swallow your words. Your point is great. Mm. only mm. if it was only great if that hadith was authentic so your your whole argument is on the weak hadith and I, that's how i started my argument that hadith is weak mm. i do not believe that mm. that hadith weak mm. hadith i do not i, I don't rely on that okay L uh, let me let me ask you a question am i right or am i wrong no problem no problem no problem you that see? hadith is weak so your argument fails so i guess you bust again my friend let us see what you think let us see who's getting busted don't hang up people will laugh i'm not hanging out you said nowhere. you said you said you said I'm going nowhere that if you, you me let me remind you of something you said you said you said you said that 
if we ask the prophet for help and he is dead yes that is an act of worship absolutely is muhammad I dead i understand by it is muhammad dead if you show me if you show me prove it to me is muhammad dead you, you no no i want you to confirm i want you to confirm you trust me or not but i learn something i will learn my something. friend i i'm asking you a very uh, 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 easy question do you believe that your prophet is dead of course he is all right is it true that muhammad he said that you have read the quran because the quran will be presented to me and the muslims they said to him how we will present the quran for you when you are dead he said you think prophets are dead but the fact they are not mm -hmm. is that true that's a different existence dead in this life that didn't my friend he is dead and you are alive and you are now reciting the quran for him but he is dead yeah, and you are the one the... and and you are the one who said you are the one who said that if you ask the prophet for help while he is dead this is an act of worship yes how you can do that what is your source can you provide me a source okay let's see i i don't expect you to trust me and i don't think i trust you as well i want to read the source well it's i don't i don't trust any muslim anyway <clears throat> well, i trust many christians there are many good friends uh, they are good people but uh, i'm afraid my experience with you is i don't know what do you mean uh, what do you mean you trust uh, christians what does that mean uh, as a as a human being and their word i do you do what I, I do so I trust their word. Many of the Christians, I trust their words. I do, as a as a human being. I trust. No, their are words. you uh, are you a Muslim allowed to trust the Christians? Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, do we allow to trust Christian? Yeah. Okay. You want me to take you to the box? I will go with you uh, into that box where you're taking me right now. Uh, yes. Yes. Are you yes. sure? Are you sure? I'm 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 definitely sure. Prove can, me wrong. Can you give me a proof? Well, I can't. I, I, on top of my mind, top of my head, I can't. I don't. Well, I don't okay, as long like let you. us let us change the topic a little bit. Get you busted. In chapter That's five, it. in chapter Fair five, enough. verse number uh, uh, fifty-one, it says, "Take not Christians and Jews as a friends and protectors." Right. Five and if you do so, you are one of them. Mm -hmm. Believers do not take the Jews and the Christians as a friends your, for your allies. It's or friends allies. and if you do so you are one of them how do you say friend in arabic oh yeah is the same and how do you say protector in arabic it's the same so why are you taking as a friend why can't you take it as a protector why are you taking the way you want because to simply if somebody he want to protect you obviously is your friend too right uh not necessarily ah okay here we go this is a translation in front of me this is your muslim translation it says oh who you believe take not the jews and the christians for your friends and protectors they are but the friends and protectors to each other and he amongst you that he turns to them for friendship is is of them he is one of them so now you are saying to me i trust the christians and i have them as a friends so if you have them as a friends and you trust them that's mean you are one of us so you left islam if it doesn't say a friend but it's a protector where where and where it says protector you, where, where it says protector where it says protectors where it says protectors all yeah all yeah all yeah do you speak you arabic agree? do you speak arabic you do you speak arabic no, I didn't. Okay, so how I you know? Help. So you how you can? Me. Okay, here we go. I'm showing you Muslim I'm translation. I'm showing truth. you. I'm showing you the Muslim translation. You see, it's like you look like you like you like a certain translation, and you like it, and you stuck with it. This is Joseph <laughs> Ali. Is he as a Muslim imam or he is a uh, he's a Hindu? I, I I'm uh, reading uh, Maududi's translation. Much, no problem. Much, no problem, my friend. My friend. Maududi. 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 Okay. Let us let us fix this argument based yeah. on this verse. Regardless of the translation, which is a scholar agree with you that you can take a Christian or a Jew as a friend? I I know what you're saying, and there are many Muslims have this problem. My friend, don't tell me we have a problem. You have all of Islam is a problem. Don't don't play no, games. Give me one scholar in the world agree with you saying that yes, we can take a Christians and Jews as a friends as interpretation for this verse. Uh, look, the verse itself. Don't uh, tell I me. Mean, look, I don't want to look. You see, I want to I want to finish this. Okay. Because okay, let's, you're let's playing games, you're playing games. Which is scholar no, you agree? Enough. Which is scholar? Enough, my, right. my, my friend, my friend. You see, you are jumping from topic to topic like a monkey. 
and you are trying to say you are trying to say that you are getting me busted but the fact each time we, we speak about something you claim don't go to interpretation don't read interpretation don't go there don't go here so you want to debate me without going anywhere so why not why do you want to do that give me one Muslim scholar agree with you about this chapter and about the verse we are talking about that you are telling the truth that you have a Christians you can trust and they can be your friends show me who That's is the scholar fair. agree with you First of all, I'm not jumping from here today. Actually, I'm going wherever you're taking me. Really? You are opening verses. Okay, now show I'm me. No problem. Show me, my friend. Anywhere. Convince, convince the crowd, not me. What Secondly, is the scholar name? What is the scholar name? I agree with you. Ask. Are you saying to me by by running away from giving me one scholar agree with you that no scholar in the world agree with you? Oh, it's going to be so easy to bust you. Okay, really. I'm I'm listening. Right. No, I'm not providing you now. I'm going to call you tomorrow. <laughs> no, because if you said that, Abdul, is Abdul. No, I will get you busted right now. I will go right now to at tafsir.com and I will show all the tafsir in the website. All of them, the real scholars, not Zakir Naik, Potato Tomato. Those are the scholars, and we will see. It? We will see. We will see what they are saying. If they I are saying, if they are I saying what I am saying, screen, Abdul, man. Abdul. Abdul, you've been served and you've been cooked. My name is Abbas. You've been, you've been, not only you've been slaughtered, you've been barbecued. You call me to get me busted, Abdul? Are no you words. serious? No words. Are you serious? Okay, let's go. No words. Listen to me, no, listen to me. me chapter 5, chapter 5, chapter 5, verse number 51. Name for me, any scholar you wish. Any scholar you wish, right now. Oh, Abdul, Abdul, listen, listen. All the interpretation, no, no, no. all the interpretation in front of me, get you busted. This is Ibn Kathir in front of my eyes. This is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. Getting you busted. Choose anyone else. And Maududi is not here. What I would do? Where is Al Maududi? Can I have 30 seconds? My friend, where is Al Maududi to show it to you? Do you see it in the list with Why me? Here we go. I am showing you. I'm showing you the list of the scholars. He is not even counted as a scholar. Okay, fair enough. Okay, let's let's forget about Maududi. Okay, can you choose for me a scholar? Okay. Can I have? Two can minutes? you choose? No, no, no. Can you choose for me oh, a scholar? People, people, what do you think? Why is not giving me chance? Bec no, I'm, not, I'm giving you a chance. You want to jump over the topic? Can you show me a scholar? Question. Agree with you? I'm only look how many scholars we have in the list. Look, look how many. Look, look. I we have, we have like, we have like three hundred. We have a, a, a like three hundred scholars, and not even one of them agree with you. In in the name of God, just give me thirty seconds. The name, the name of the black stone. <laughs> In the name of God, just give me 30 seconds if you are, if you are for the sake of the truth. My friend, let me ask you, Tafsir al-Mawdudi written which year? People, I'm asking in 30 seconds, why is not giving me 30 Taf seconds? Tafsir al-Mawdudi written which year? I say forget about Mawdudi if you can't find it. I'm asking you to give me 30 seconds. Ooh, 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 Can ooh, I? Ooh, 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 30 seconds? Yes. All the, 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 the time you spoke until now, you don't have 30 seconds yet? You never gave me. Oh, I'm okay, really, permission. really, people are witnessing. I'm asking your permission. Okay, go ahead. Thank you very much. So this verse, chapter 5, verse 5, is actually telling you to marry uh, the uh, people of the book. Now, if your question is, if Hadith is telling you, you can never be friends with Christians and Jews, you're basically telling me, Allah telling you to marry with your enemies, live life with your enemies, that's what you're saying? Is this your logic and reason, CP? Are you telling me hadith say don't be friends with Krishna Jews? Tafsir say that, but the Quran telling you to marry, have a wife, Christian and Jew. And you telling me you it's your enemy, you can never be friends with her, but you can marry. Hello. <coughs> and the guy is gone. I'm trying to find Al Maududi so yeah. we can we can read for him Al Maududi so we can love. All right. Let us see. This is Al Maududi. All right. Uh, oh believer, take not the Jews or the Christians as your friends. This is Al Maududi. <laughs> Liar. Let us see. He's online now. I don't think he's trying to call me, but he is. He's online. <coughs> Hello. Hey, my friend, the speaker corner. I really do apologize. My connection was completely gone bad. So all I was right. trying all the time. Okay, yes, my friend. I was, I was listening to you. Okay. Listening to you. Okay. Yes, go ahead. We have a Maududi in the front of us. And Al Maududi, yes. agree with me, not with you. What we will do now. Uh, which verse and what did he say? You can go to any verse you want. This is a chapter 3, verse 28. And we will show you verse 20, uh, 551, the one we were talking about. 
Okay. Believers do not take the Jews and the Christians as your friends. They are one another's friends only if one, any one of you takes them friends. I'm reading what uh, is saying on the laptop. Mm -hmm. Now, I got the phone here with me in my hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In that, the female Quran, I have the female Quran. Mm -hmm. You believe it or not, it's up to you. Mm -hmm. um, in that, uh, the translation it says, uh, the believers may not take the unbelievers for their allies in preference. Or in this one. Mm. Okay, here it said, but it's okay, that doesn't make any difference, no problem. Mm. We take what they with the translation say, hey, friends, yes. Mm. Mm. So the word here uses olia, mm. is that right? Mm. Okay, madudi say, hey, it means friends, mm. but the word uses olia, which can also mean protector. Mm. Yeah, and, and? so when, when you ask me to quote you, uh, uh any scholar, mm. I did quote you, madudi, yes, mm. and madudi is talking about hey, friends, here. okay. But my question is this here. Hmm. When Allah is telling us you can marry a Christian Jew and and uh, Christian uh, Jewish hmm. uh, uh, Christian or Jew woman, hmm. how does it uh, make sense that they cannot be your friend but you can marry them? Because Muhammad, it make, uh, you are right with this question. It doesn't make sense, and this is a very good question of you. Islam doesn't make sense anyway. Muhammad wanted hmm. to spend this, spread Islam by having more babies, and now they capture a lot of women and they want to have their babies. So this is for the benefit because, as you know, in Islam. If you have women and you have sex with her, the baby will be a Muslim, will not be a Christian. So it's a win-win for Muhammad. In the beginning of Islam, in the beginning of Muhammad, he said that you cannot marry a, 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 a non-believer woman. So uh, Muhammad, he changed his mind because he found himself, he is losing uh, a lot of, by, 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 uh, by doing that, he lost a lot of members uh, to, to become part of uh, uh, Part of Islam or babies and he need mm -hmm. that uh, so Muhammad he changed his mind always and this is one of the funny things about Muhammad proving that he is uh, not a prophet because how come in one verse in the Quran uh, it says you cannot marry non-muslim and he forbid them from marrying non-muslims and then he make another verse in the Quran saying well you can marry a Muslim Okay, that is a contradiction, you know that, but show okay, me that. Thank you. Then. Okay, guys, did you hear uh, this gentleman say this is a contradiction? All yes, right. I'm saying it. All right, thank you. Because I'm a, I'm a seeker of truth, yeah? My, my and friend, I believe my, it. My yeah, friend, I'm okay, not going to hide okay. behind it. Well, I, I, believe, well, I, I believe Quran my friend, has not a single contradiction. No problem. Okay? Well, That's uh, another topic, and no I'm putting problem, myself no in the problem, box, so you, no can, you, can, you can bring it to me. Okay. No, Quran say you can marry. My friend, hold on, hold your horses. Just you say this is a contradiction if we can prove it. Yes. Chapter 2, verse number 2 to 1. The mic is yours. Yes. Marry not the women who associate others with Allah in His divinity until they believe. For a believing slave girl is better okay. than a woman who associates others with Allah in His divinity, okay. even though she might please you. Likewise, do not give your women in marriage to okay uh, let's say talk about it is let's talk about the women first yeah? because we're not talking about the men here mm. so i'm going to read again marry not the women who associate others with allah in his divinity mm. until they believe for a believing slave girl is better than a woman who associates others with uh, allah in his divinity he's talking about the comparison he's not talking about period he said for my friend what comparison it says don't marry and believe in women don't marry don't marry don't marry don't marry yeah. yes so you cannot marry it's forbidden for you to but marry a woman she is not a believing woman do you agree i have to finish the whole verses and you do, because if you finish the verse then you might understand what exactly he's saying my friend do you want us to go to al maududi your favorite book are you going to go to interpretation my friend do you want me to go to al maududi your favorite this book is this is maududi i'm reading okay you are reading al maududi yeah, yeah. In my okay, hold on. Let us go to Al Maududi. All right. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, let us see the interpretation but... of Al Maududi, my friend. Go. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. The mm. Quran is so clear, and you are the one who said, and everybody heard you. If one verse saying you can marry a mushrik woman, and one verse saying marry a mushrik woman, that is a clear contradiction. So ah, are you are you okay. going to keep are you going to keep your promise? Subhanallah. 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 Go ahead. No, yeah, yeah, I, 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 you, you make when you say something, mm. it makes the word so clear for me. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Because here, um, my friend, my mm -hmm. friend, uh -huh. here the word used in Arabic is mushrikat. Ah. Mushrik over there uses ahl kitab. Ah. So when Allah say mushrik, Allah is not talking about ah. ahl kitab here. Ah. I want you to tell me, 
is the Christians and the Jews mushrikeen? Yes or no? This this word is not talking. My about friend, no. This, I'm asking you a direct question. About, I'm asking you a direct question. Be honest. Is the Christian and the Jews, according to your knowledge, according to Islam, are they are they mushrikeen? Uh, definitely, Jews are not. The Jews are not. Why? They're not. They don't do share. Why? The Jews the Jews don't do share. What shirk mean? Do you know? Jews believe, Jews believe is just in one God. They, do, they don't do shirk. So they don't, anyone he say, don't okay, let me ask you a question. Anyone says that Jews are mushrikeen, he's a stupid liar, correct? If anybody says Jews are mushrikeen, a uh, stupid liar, I wouldn't say that. Or I, but I, I'm just saying that you prove me or prove me wrong. No, why you don't say that if you are if you are sure? Are you sure or not? Is the Jews mushrikeen, yes or no? Well, when I'm saying is I'm saying into my own limited knowledge. Prove okay, me wrong. here we go. The Quran, my friend, says, that the Christians and the Jews, the Christian, they say that Jesus is the son of Allah and, yeah? and 30, the Jews and the Jews, 30, they say, yeah. and the Jews, they say, and the Jews, they say, is the son of Allah. So mm -hmm. are they mushrikeen or not? Okay, of course not. So if somebody says that uh, he, he have a son of Allah, he's not mushrik. Yeah, well, listen, uh, Jews still believe many the son of uh, son of God, you know, the Adam, David. <laughs> No, my friend, my friend, no, no, listen, listen. No, no, it says the Jews, the Jews call Uzair the son of Allah, and the Christians call the the Christ the son of Allah. So this is what it's meant about naming a person. He is the only one is the son of Allah. This is what the Quran is saying. Who's the one? They take the rabbis and uh which verse is 930 or 9 Chapter 9, verse number 30. And then the Jews say Ezra is Allah's son. And the Christians say the Messiah is the Son of Allah. Mm. These are merely verbal uh, assertions in imitation of the saints mm. of those unbelievers who preceded them. Mm. May Allah ruin them. Mm. So, okay, Son of Allah, Jews say, uh, Jews say many of Son of Allah, Son mm. of God. Mm. So that doesn't mean they worship them. Really? Jews never worship anybody. Okay, they, should they we go? Never, to, should, never say should we go? Worshiping okay, thank you. You remind me of, uh, of uh, Hijab when he said, for 4,000 years. <laughs> Four thousand year, not even a single Jew broke the command which is instructed them to worship one God. Four thousand years. So now you are confirming that your prophet is a liar. Thank you very much. Because this okay. verse, my friend, let us go to Al Maududi. Can we go to Al Maududi, your your favorite friend? Which verse? Al Maududi, chapter nine, verse yeah. number thirty. Okay, let us go okay. to Al Maududi. I like Al Maududi. Yeah, from now good. on, from now, from now on, Maududi okay, Al Maududi. My, years. my friend, I like Al Maududi. I love Al Maududi. Let us see what Al Maududi is saying. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Mr. Al Maududi. Mm -hmm. But uh, can I say something? My friend, you? don't forget, please, after you finish this, uh, you know, to download the video and post it in YouTube, your YouTube. Okay, uh, don't forget. Yeah, can, All right. Can I say something? Do you promise me? Do you promise me you will post it in your YouTube? My YouTube. Yes. I don't have a YouTube channel. You are a speaker corner, but you don't have a YouTube channel. I couldn't care less about the YouTube channel. Okay. Do you promise me to open a YouTube one. channel and and pause this video because this is a victory for you? Remember, the Jews they say, Ezra. By the way, it doesn't say Ezra. It says Uzair is the son of Allah, and the Christian say the Messiah is the son of Allah. All right. Now, I want you to read for me the interpretation. What is what is the interpretation? Can I say before I was going to say something before? Yeah, go Can ahead. I say something. Go ahead. You never, you never allow me chance. Uh, when I started this conversation, I said to you, uh, Quran. I, I do not believe any commentary is infallible. You remember that I said that to you? Okay. Are you the one who yeah. chose for me the Al, -Al Maududi? No, 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 no. I was not choosing any. You just asked me. Okay, choose, choose, choose one. Give me one, one, one. So I say, okay, I'll give you one. But what I said to you in the beginning. So now Al Maududi is bad person. Al Maududi is not that. good. Okay, Al Maududi is not good. Okay, let's go to the Quran. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem, guys. Al Maududi is bad. He's a he's a, he's a donkey. Okay, 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 no problem. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Okay, does it say there? Does it say there? The very beginning, I said, my friend, the commentaries are not infallible. Okay, no problem. Let us see. Okay, I want you to explain the Quran for me. It says it says they worship, they associate with him. Do you see that? In the Quran, not not the interpretation, they associate with Allah. Does it say that? Uh, this Messiah, the Son of Allah. These are merely verbal assertions in imitation of saying of the those who unbelievers who preceded them. Hmm. It doesn't say that. It says here in front of me they associate with Him. The Quran says that. Chapter nine, verse thirty. What's the Arabic of that? No, not not thirty only. You have to read the verses after it. Read with me. You see here. 
uh, actually even even here even here it says uh, read verse 30 uh, okay uh, uh, read if you if you go if you continue reading the verse after verse number 31 says okay. they take their priests and their uh, 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 rabbis as their lord in their regression of Allah and they've been but yet they were command to worship Allah alone and he and he you know he's saying praise and glory for him for he is the uh, etc that uh, you cannot have a, wor a worship or partner with him so the verse is accusing them that they are taking partner and association with Allah so they are mushrikeen no you're wrong no okay let me get you busted. Get okay hold on because that's fine. Let me let me allow me to 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 get you. Uh, uh, I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not insulting. I'm just no, no, it's, no, you a, can, it's a word. I don't take it as insult. Yeah, I don't this okay. is your habit. That's no uh, problem. You uh, can say it. You know what? In speakers' corner, people say worse things than that. Trust me. Okay. I'm I'm, I'm not concerned about me. What I'm concerned is when you you say bad things about the Prophet and Allah. That's uh -huh. what I'm more concerned about. You can say whatever names you want to say. I have a quite a thick skin. Trust me. All right. The Quran says. لقد كفر الذين قالوا أن المسيح هو الله. Those who say the Messiah is Allah, they are kufar. What verse you read? Explain to me how that happened. If we are not mushrikeen according to you. What verse did you read? Oh, hold on. Chapter two, verse number two to one. And you okay. said, you said any interpretation, it's fine for you, right? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let us go to Al-Mawdudi. As long as yeah. you like Al-Mawdudi. Go go ahead, read. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, okay. Chapter two, verse two twenty one, and uh -huh. uh, the commentary of that is: This is the reason for and the wisdom underlying the injunction mentioned above, prohibiting marriage links with polytheists. Mm -hmm. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Polytheists. Who, who is the polytheist? Christians and Jews are not polytheists. According to the Quran, Christians are not polytheists. Okay. So. Okay. If so I sh if I show you a verse, if I show you a verse now, yeah. Uh, remember everything with the context, yeah. Right. Sure. No problem. Okay, but again and again in this commentary about the policy, no never say no, questions and no Jews. problem, no problem, no problem. One. Okay, first, first thing first. Okay, let us go. Let us go. No, no, no. CP, yeah. first thing first. Hold on, hold on. You go to chapter right. five. Go to chapter uh, CP, five. CP, go to chapter CP, five. CP, it doesn't work like that. CP, no, it worked like that. that. Let us go. We have to. We have to clarify let, one thing for sure. For ah, uh, you, you see, you receive. You, a did you receive a text from somebody? And this is why you rushed. Now you want to try to fix it. For me. No. Yeah. So what? You just say no. that if I believe, if I believe in the Trinity, that will not make me mushrik. Everybody I'm heard keep, you. I'm keep telling you something. You, you just say it. Everybody you heard you. If I, if I believe the Trinity, that will not make me a mushrik. You said that. You yes are, or no? You are mixing a lot of. My things. friend, let's did let's you? Okay, here, read with me. This is Al Maududi. This is the problem. This is Al Maududi. You this is Al Maududi. It's almost certainly, most certainly, they committed the blasphemy. Listen, listen, you because see, you see, everything. Abdul, Ab hold on, you are the one who asked me for Al Maududi. This is it, this is the oh, chapter five. Right to say my opinion. This I is a right chapter, to... okay, go, don't, don't, don't call me again, please. Let your dad call me. I'm done with you. I gave you a chance to prove yourself, and obviously, you are all over the place. You remind me of a person, he turned on the fan, and he had a dish full of poo poo. Diarrhea poo poo, and he was in the hospital. And you are a speaker corner, and you are calling me to get me busted. Okay, I, guys, I, I need to go to the hospital. Seriously, I got busted. I mean, really, really, like, look at my nose, man. I, I don't have a nose no more. It's like became like a big zucchini. The Christians are not mushrikeen in Islam. But because he said, if this verse saying that, that you can marry from them, and this verse you, you cannot marry from them, that means it's a contradiction. He admit he's out of Islam. Hey, my brother. <laughs> hey, CP. How are you, my friend? Man, you get busted. Unbelievable. <laughs> it was a career end, my friend. Yes, yes. Career end, career end. Yeah. Oh. <laughs>